Another unboxing of a book. Let's see what is inside this one. Mm -hmm. Saturn. Oh, the planets. Ooh. Let's page through this. Okay, a crater somewhere on the probably Mars. It has river beds. He said craters. Is it part of the Valles Marineris? This one looks like it. Anyway. Oh, they have a skin the Mars. You can see the atmosphere, top part, lower part, middle, bottom, then the surface, then the lower skin, lower crust, lower crust, a mantle, and the corn, which is molten. Printed and found in China. Family of the Sun, Our Star, Rocky Worlds, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Moon, Mars, these are Rocky Worlds. Then we have the dwarf planet, which we call asteroids also. The gas giants come next Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, and then Kuiper Belt, uh, which includes the Pluto also, dwarf planets. Oh, that's fascinating. Look at that. That's a crater on the Mars. It has seeped some kind of liquidy uh, sand or clay down the hill. I oh, like this skinning of the planet. It's like tomato skinning. <laughs> oh, crater calories. Oh, Rachmaninov crater. For oh, that's a calories basin. Anyway, oh, these maps are really lovely. The detailed. We have more better maps nowadays. That's the topography and uh, some of the probably gravity measurements missions to Mercury oh this is really a detailed work the next one is Venus Maxfield months. Oh, how high is it? Olympus month, Mac Countdown volume. Maxfield month is around, uh, yeah, ten thousand. The same height as the Manuaco Loa from bottom of the ocean.
then we come to the beautiful earth. We have a hydrosphere here also. It's cracked like an eggshell. Beautiful apples. Oh wow, look at the moon. Beauty. And it has a tiny curve, but it has something. Oh, map of the moon, that's nice. That's nice. It's not very detailed anyway. Earth rise from the moon orbit. This is the thickness of the crust and elevation. Sorry, elevation, not thickness of the crust. That's elevation map. Plateau, Jura Mountains, Mara Imbrium, Alpine Valley. Fascinating. That's the structure of the Mars. Map of the Mars, beads on the Mars. It had water in the four billion years ago, but it just stopped because tectonism stopped. It don't ha it do didn't have a big satellite like ours, a big moon, to keep its interior, you know, moving and churning and heated at the same time, cracking its surface, creating this tectonism. Or continuing the tectonism, it just died out. It had hot spot tectonism, but not plate tectonism. Beautiful morning, the morning dew you can see. These are the moons of the oh asteroid actually. Yeah, how they are created? Look. This Vesta was created like that, and shaped like that, should we say. Fascinating. And when they hit the Earth, they leave these kind of craters. And also comets can do that. Gas giants. Jupiter. Oh, wow, look at the Oh, this is fascinating. This is liquid and metal. For a metal core, oh, it's huge. This is one of the best I've seen. Image quality is excellent in this work. Of course, as usual in DK books, of I will find a lot of typos. And uh, geographical books of them are really full of typos. That book called Planet Earth, or the Earth. I found in the evolution book some typos also. Saturn's rings. Is this show? Oh yeah, cross section of the Saturn. Oh yeah, you know that Will Hay, the comedian, 1930s comedian, was an astronomer. He discovered one of these uh, white storms in the I think 36 or 7, in 1930s anyway, on the planet Saturn. Saturn system. Oh, look at the moons of the Saturn. That's Titan. And Thetis, Dayun, Eaptus. That's the subject of the Space Odyssey book. But the movie shows that it's Jupiter. I prefer the book, the 
book of it was more fascinating. These are satellites again that shows us the snow. You see these things in the snow when they are evaporating and melting and bubbling out and bursting. You see on the comets also the same. Uranus. Oh, blue inside of it. Oh, that's the wall in the satellite of it called uh, I've got Miranda. It has a straight wall there. It's a big fault line. You say, oh, Neptune also. Hmm. Neptune and Triton. Oh, geysers of Triton of geysers. Voyager's Grand Tour. Outer limits. These are the Kuiper Belt objects, which include Pluto, dwarf planet Pluto, and a lot of other objects similar to it, and comet and comet orbits. They define a shape like that, roughly. And the comets, as we see them. The best comet was Hyokutake that I've ever seen, and then hailed up. Hyokutake was the biggest comet I've ever seen. It's almost covered 120 degrees in the sky. And you could see in even 15 minutes, one five minute observation, its movement. It got 16 million, million kilometers close to Earth. Exploring planets. Oh. And a lo lovely glossary of terms. Index. All in all, let's see how many pages we have. 200. Fifty-five, fifty-six pages. Then we come to the end of the book. The UK is twenty-five pounds, but actually you don't pay that much. You pay probably anything between two, three pounds for the older edition to eleven or so twelve pounds for the later ones. And I think that uh, now you can get it at a good price because they are going to publish a new edition of this.